I'm never going to pretend to like sports films. Baseball-based films, yes. American football, it's got to be something different for me to even consider watching it. And The Best of Times 1986 film is one that I watched simply because Robin Williams is in it. I've seen everything he's done now and you know, I couldn't leave this one out. I thought it was alright. I'm not going to sit here and say that just because Robin Williams was in it, it's the best film ever. But it was funnier than I expected and, and a bit more surprising. It's directed by Roger Spottiswood and written by Ron Shelton, starring alongside Robin Williams, Kurt Russell. And I'll read the description from IMDb, which makes it sound quite interesting. And there's one reason why I think it's quite interesting. And that's because of the, I guess, the flashback aspect and grown men wanting to revert back to the time when they were teenagers. Description is as follows. Jack Dundee, played by Robin Williams, is a meek banker living in Taft, California. He constantly thinks about the 1972 high school football game between Taft and powerhouse Bakersfield. Dundee drops a perfect pass and the game ended in a tie. He wants to replay the game but has trouble convincing Reno and the town to replay the game. So Jack resorts to desperate measures to make the game reality. So basically this fully grown man, he is a banker. I think the fact that he is a banker is actually very... Uh, a very good call here because bankers tend to be straight laced, not somebody who's going to get down and dirty playing football on a you know a high school pitch. So the contrast works really well as the film kind of progresses, and most of the fun comes from him trying to persuade everybody to get you know to get back into the high school spirit and play this game of football. And I guess there's an element of will they will they win again? Will it will will it not end in a tie? Will we, will they win this time? As I said, the actual football scenes, I'm never going to be that bothered about them at all. But I liked the concept. And I thought it certainly had its moments. Robin Williams and Kurt Russell gave great performances. Really engaging. Not the most unpredictable. I'd say expect what you expect. But it's it's fun. It's a fun film. It's not like a serious film. As long as it's a sports, ba- a comedy-based sports film, I tend to be able to get on board with it, and that's definitely the case here. It's got 6 out of 10 on IMDb. I'd probably give it maybe a 5.7, 5.8. I didn't think it was great, but I thought it was... In- I enjoyed the time I spent watching it. I just don't think I'd watch it again. Um, Kirk Cameron's also in it. Uh, Pamela Reed. Great casting, great on-screen chemistry, particularly between Jack and Reno and Robin Williams and Kurt Russell. As far as sports films go, it's pretty good. It's not up there as one of my favourite Robin Williams films. It's probably quite low down, actually. But I'd say it's probably worth a watch. If you like sports films, definitely worth a watch. And if you like comedy or Robin Williams, I think you'll have fun with it.